When I first found out that Secretary Julian Castro's presidential campaign was ending, I was asked to write a letter. This letter could have anything I wanted in it. It could be about why I was working on the campaign, what I would fight for in the future, what I got out of the campaign, or how I felt about things ending. I never wrote this letter. I tried writing it a few times, many times actually, agonizing over what to say with a few of my fellow organizers as they had all finished writing their letters when I was still so stuck. But I just couldn't get it to sound right. I think I was in denial. I did not want the campaign to be over, so I couldn't bring myself to finish this letter about it being over. It's been almost a month since Secretary Castro stopped running for president though, and I think I'm ready to try this again. And to do it like this makes the most sense to me. So in that spirit, dear Julian Castro, I was 14 years old when my youngest brother Zach was born. I knew immediately that my job was to protect him and to help him grow. I wanted to solve all of the world's problems before he was ever old enough to know about them. I failed. I failed when I learned that my brother, who was born in 2009, and who did not realize that white people could be president, had to spend part of his childhood in the Trump presidency. I was growing up watching the president degrade and insult non-white people and uplift white supremacy. I failed when my kid brother told me that his biggest fear is being shot with a gun. He is worried about dying in a school shooting. I failed because my black and Asian brother told me that the police will probably shoot him if they think he is doing something wrong even though he tries to always do the right thing. I failed when the Tree of Life shooting happened in my city and my brother asked me when the next shooting would be and if it would be in our city again. I didn't have an answer for him and I still don't have an answer for him. I have failed him in so many ways. I wanted to give him the gift of a world without hate or bigotry and I just couldn't do that. So I chose to move to Iowa so I could at least give him a better world. I chose to work for Julian Castro. I wanted to work for him for a lot of reasons. Because he understood the fight for reproductive rights needs to include trans men and non-binary people with uteruses. Because he pushed the whole field forward on immigration when there are children locked in cages. But mostly, it was his plans on police reform and disarming hate. I want to give my brother a better world. One where our neighbors can worship without fear. One where children can attend school without fear and one where people of color do not need to worry about police violence. I failed to solve the world's problems before my brother was old enough to know about them. But I'm not done trying to solve them. I am going to keep working to give my brother a better world than the one he is currently growing up in. And Julian, I know that you're going to do the same thing. You're going to keep fighting and working for my family and families like mine all across the country. So thank you, Secretary Castro. I am so grateful to have been a part of your campaign. I am so happy to have met so many people who are passionate, dedicated, hardworking, and determined to put people first in everything they do. You brought together a group of amazing people, and I am honored to have met all of them. Signed, your former Iowa field organizer, Katrina Ames.